Hello everyone, my name is Greenwell Kelly76. I used to be 77, but you know, hack, change name, blah blah blah, you get the idea. Uh, today we are actually going to be doing a review on the Hungai. It's a very interesting ship. Um, you may have a tough time to play it, but I've seemed to not find any reviews on the ship as much. Um, some people don't choose to play it at all. It's a very rare ship to see in game. You might see me play it because I'm usually one of the only people who've actually played it. So uh, I'm actually going to go over it here. So to start off with my upgrades, I have aiming systems mod 1, you know, for your dispersion of the main battery, your torpedo uh, launcher, traverse speed, your secondary firing range, and your dispersion of your secondaries, right? I also have propulsion plant mod 2, gives me the full power of accelerating, which is what you need in this ship. Uh, of course, the load I'm running is I'm going to be running sonar. I did do a, a video on this before, and I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe I should run a uh, torpedo reload booster. That's not the way to go. Um, so, of course, we have... Uh, our common ship XP booster, common global, and rare credit. I'm not really focused on the battle boosters or my commander XP. I have quite a bit of commander XP right now. Um, I'm running Year of the Ox as my flag. I just thought it matches ship well. And you have the Type 9 premium camouflage for the ship. Your survivability is 24,100 hit points. If you do add William Simmons, you can probably increase that. But I'll just leave it alone. <laughs> Uh, your armor thickness is from 9 to 100 millimeters, and your torpedo damage reduction is 7%. You're not looking for anything big on this ship, it is considerably a light cruiser. Your main batteries are 152 millimeter. Um, your firing range is 15.1 kilometers, uh, reload time is 6.8 seconds, and your 180 degrees turn time is 22 seconds. Your HE damage is 2200 with a 14% chance of fire, and your AP damage is uh, 3300. You do have secondary armor mail on this thing, and there is uh, four per side, so that equals eight secondaries in total. Um, and those are 100 millimeters with 5.2 kilometers of range, and four seconds reload time with uh, doing 1,400 damage and eight percent chance of fire. Your torpedoes, like I said, these this is a deep water uh, style of cruiser, so you have deep water torpedoes, which do an average of 15,000 damage. Um, you do have uh, two, uh, blah, blah. you do have three per side, so that's six. Uh, reload time is 79 seconds. If you do add the torpedo reload booster, which is the sole thing of the ship, um, you can get down to 10 seconds as soon as you launch them. Um, what I do have to mention about these torpedoes is that uh, you only have narrow um, spread of torps. You cannot do a wide spread of deep water, which kind of sucks. But, like I said, these torpedoes are amazing. Uh, you do have 8 kilometers of range on these and 16 knot torpedoes. Your AA is 20 uh, millimeter. Um, I'm not going to say the word. I'm not really solely impressed to say the word right now. You also have your 37s and your 100s, which are your dual purpose armament of your secondaries. Your maximum speed is 34 knots with the turning radius of 570 meters, I believe. Um, your rudder shift time is 6.7 seconds. The reason why I didn't run a steering gear on this thing is because it really does well on turning by itself. Concealment, you have 11.3 for detectability range by sea. Um, you could probably follow the rest. Detectability at, by air is 7.1 kilometers, and your guaranteed detectability range is 2 kilometers, while firing in smoke is 5.6. So, um, I, I probably forgot to mention there is a smoke screen on this. It is a crawling smoke, so you're only going to quarter speed. In order for the smoke screen to work, uh, have a look at our armor here. Um, your citadel, or kind of towards the middle of your ship, is probably where your best armor is. Your bow, uh, your front and aft end, isn't the greatest. You do have great turret armor, but uh, that's not usually what people look for in this game. Overview: It is a repeater, has deep water torpedoes. This was a British light cruiser, HMS Aurora, intended to carry uh, close reconnaissance and counter destroyer missions. In 1948, the ship was transferred to the Republic of China, but she ended up as part of the People's Liberation Army uh, and Navy or something like that. That would be planned a year later. In, an early, in the early 1950s, a refurbishment plan was to replace her weapons and equipped with Soviet-made models um, and was laid out. Um, the ship entered service in 1937, and there were four ships in the class. Alright, uh, our commander is Ding Ruchang. I'm running Burn It Down on this uh, for your HE shell uh, causing fire. I'm probably going to move around Nikolai Kuzinstov. 
I might end up because the AP is actually pretty good on this thing. So you could either do Izuruki Yamamoto, or you could probably, if you want, some people choose to do this. They usually choose for battleships. Uh, Nikolai von Essen. He's good for the minimum ricochet angles and this thing's AP. Um, it does tend to bounce a little bit. Um, I also have an idea to put uh, Guther Lugins on it for your AP damage increase. But uh, I'll let you guys know for the next clip. Of course, this said burn down. We also have crisscross. You want that gun traverse speed. It is nice to have. Uh, Velocious for your maximum movement speed plus 3%. I forgot to mention your base trait is Gunslinger. A lot of people added this to the Freezem as soon as that thing came out. And of course that really does help with your main battery reload time. So I'm down to, you know, minus uh, 2.8 seconds or something like that. Um, I did put Reaching Out XXL on this thing. You do want that bit of range. Um, if you didn't have Nikolai on and you just uh, decided to put Steer Clear, you're only averaging probably around 13 kilometers range. You do want to have this on at least if you do decide not to go with Nikolai uh, Kuznetov. So, and uh, of course I do have fully packed. I want those extra chargers for everything. That includes your smoke screen and your sonar or turbo re uh, reloader booster. So uh, let's get into the game. Alright, we are loading into a game with the Hoongai here. Um, I'm going to try to show my best off with this ship. Um, I've already took multiple clips of this. I could always add those up. Um... And then I will give you a sneak peek on the next video I'll be doing, uh, which will be the Grash Zeppelin, which a lot of people thought in this game, oh, it's a meme ship, it's pretty cool, but, you know, it doesn't work exactly like PC or Blitz does. But uh, anyways, we're going to focus on the Hoon Guy for right now, and hopefully you get a great game in this. So I do have my voice chat disabled, and we do have a carriers on each team, and it looks like we are down tiered, which is a bonus right here. Um, we are versing a Ranger, New Mexico, uh, Mackinson, which is the new... Uh, tier or tech tree line for the German battle cruisers. They do go up to 406 millimeter guns. They also have a uh, uh, Hayuga, a New York, an ARP, a uh, Kirishima, an Aoba, a Konigsberg, and a Fubuki. Uh, on our team, we have the Akarkas, or yeah, and uh, Konigsberg, Hungai, which is me, uh, Der Flinger, which is another new battle cruiser for the Germans. Rtegan, Fuso, California, Tennessee, and the Surov as our carrier. Um, let's hope we can get a great game in this. Uh, we are actually going to be rolling into D. I believe on my uh, side, we, I only have a California, which is fine. So we're going to actually pray for this being a great game. I'm going to start off with going only three, quarter, or, yeah, three quarters of my speed, so 75%. Um, so yeah. Like, so I did take off Nikolai. Um, I probably should have mentioned that. So we're only doing 14.6 main battery range. Still have our 5.2 secondaries. Our torpedoes are 8 kilometers. Our A is 5. And our sonar is 4. Um, I did choose, like I said, to go with the sonar. Sole purpose of this. Now, our goal is to probably kill that Mac. So I do want to burn him a little bit. Probably missed here. He's gonna set a fire on me. That's fine. The ship is on fire. We're gonna swap AP here. Probably get a great Citadel on this Aoba. I pray that we do. Is a tricky ship to learn. We just need a good spotting on this. I'm going to go out of my smoke a little bit. Torpedo reload booster would have been nice for that part right there. 
We're gonna swap back H here. Over here, we're gonna start back gonna behind this rock to hopefully meet the Aoba. Smoke screen set. I don't know why our California is running away from me. Teammate, I need your support. Hey, that always says it. So, uh, vulnerable. All right, let's see. We have 56 seconds until our set of uh, an set of torpedoes reload here. All right, let's see if we can get some good shots on this Aoba. I'm praying that we don't die in this game too soon. Um, the ship is pretty well played. There we go, two citadels. There we go, two citadels ended up with the devastating strike here. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. Now we have a Mac that's in approaching ground. I'm gonna sw switch back to HE over here. The goal is I know he's probably gonna slow down by this rock. Carry is probably going to be tried pushing around to us. Concentrate fire on the designated target. So right now we're kind of watching our health. We don't want to kill ourselves too much over here. Of course, we've only done 26,000 damage. You probably really want to see how these deep water torpedoes go off. I can't promise that I'm going to get a good shot of these deep water torpedoes, but probably I can try. Um, I could always try an AI to show you guys how these deep water work, but nobody wants to see that because AI are pretty easy to kill. I want this, so my goal is for this battleship to push around. If I could get the Mackinson to push around to me, I could show you guys what these deep water do. Um, the only thing is right now is judging on how we're winning, I don't know if we could make it. No, we're not up by that many points yet, so I guess it's the waiting game. Data. Hey, oh, it's an American accent. I wish they added the Pan Asia style of voice soon. That's all I'm praying for. Here, which is good for us. Which means these torpedoes can be shown exactly properly. Yes. We're gonna die because we're fully broadside here. Fire. 
Ah, Konigsberg. Alright guys, that was the end of our battle. I'm going to leave you guys off with the clip of the next video for you guys to show. Um, you know, please subscribe, leave a like on this video. Uh, I really kind of do want to start making more content into this thing. Uh, until next time, everyone have a great day. Or a great night. One of two. Secondary power. Ooh, second one. <laughs> That's the way to go. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh.